All right, so about two hours into the project, uh, it looks like uh, pretty much all the fairings are down and uh, in a safe place. Now, um, important is that you stay uh, organized with this. You know, you have little, you make little bags, just like these, just like these, where you. Uh, um, put the bolts in so later on it it won't be a problem finding the right bolt. fairing bolts tank bolts la la a zip back for literally everything and that keeps it organized um especially when you don't know the bike yet well and that's where i'm at right now um so uh I do know uh, where I'm going with this bike, um, with a lot of mods and upgrades and whatnot. Uh, but on the run, you always find something where which which needs a hands-on. Yeah, for example, uh, bolts which are here on the over the dry clutch. Multiple different types of bolts have been used. Uh, yeah, I just can't look at it. And this is this is something uh, more or less personal preference, call it. But um, I just can't look at things like that. This is just driving me nuts. Um, same with uh, plastics. You know, I can't, I just can't look at plastics. This is this is just ridiculous. And uh, I would like to replace all of that with carbon stuff, especially things like that makes actually a lot of sense to remove. Yes, Ducati installs it so you don't burn your legs and whatnot and they uh, um, keep themselves safe there for, uh, and we got lawsuits and whatnot. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's people like that. Um, but this year is also conserving heat right there. Yeah, it can't escape, no fresh air can't get in, and so all this gets hot. So inside, underneath the tank, it gets hot, and you can feel that. Just just riding this bike for, for 10 minutes, and this tank is hot as hell. This is an aluminum tank. Of course, it transferred, and it takes, uh, soaks heat literally in. The fuel gets hot performance shrinks yeah just for because of simple things like that and i don't know the degrees you can uh you can uh win with this but yeah it is i bet it is significant especially when all the other things are done to it too so so this will be removed the tank will uh need some isolation there is easy stuff to do um, that's easy to do. Uh, I mean, it takes some time, that's for sure. The car guys are doing this many times all around the air box, etc. This tank needs to be isolated as good as possible. That keeps the performance up, especially when it's, when it's getting hot and when you do laps after laps, everything is heating up. Same with the heat shield. This is all, it is already uh, isolated, but I will do another layer of insulation into this. This keeps the heat off the leg as well of uh, other components and also um, keeps this uh, carbon piece here, which is actually really expensive uh, longer life. Yeah. On my old uh, 1199R it, it was also isolated, but not enough, and that burns it literally through, and it looks ugly all the time. So here, here's the other cover, which conserves the heat here over the cylinder head. And actually, when they're coming off, it exposes those really pretty looking uh, magnesium belt covers, just like this color here. Yeah, this, is, this is just, it looks stunning when these come off. I also discovered some other stuff uh, where we can uh, save a lot of weight on, but that's in the detail and will be described later. A big thing is, of course, the exhaust. This here is, I mentioned it already in the other video, in the first one, just not takeable. I mean, just the way it looks like, this is 
gives it that industrial look. The, uh, the servo comes off with the flaps in there. Yes, that gives you a little bit more torque down there, but uh, yeah, on the track, you, you don't need it as much. And it's not that significant. And it, but the weight, the weight uh, is significant. So, I mean, I mean, look at this. I don't, I don't remember if I mentioned that in the first video, but this looks like this looks like an end piece uh, Vespa scooter exhaust. This is, I mean, <laughs> so this hopefully will be replaced soon. The exhaust is on the way, and I can't wait for that one. Get ramping up that sound, dropping a lot of weight. I mean, wait, this here is all cat. This here is a bunch of weight. I don't. I saw other videos where they do the weight com weight comparison. I will do that too, but I don't want to go so much into that detail. No. Um. Yeah, this will be done very soon. And then there's also what needs to be removed is the. I, I can hear I can hear some people already screaming about that the uh, evap canister. Uh, always, so this is also some way to save here, but it's also often an issue here with these. Um, and it's also later on easier to tune, especially when this comes out and the block of plates, which are hard to reach. So we'll have to move the uh, entire um, radiator unit forward to reach the, in, into this part here. And the other cover, the other block of plate is reachable once that gas tank is off. That's the easy one. And then all those hoses will be gone. All this here will, will let even more air to the engine and cools it. So a lot of things to do and I can't wait to get more into this. Later on, we're going into uh, the rear swing arm and then uh, doing lots of modifications to the front end. And you guys will be excited about it. I can't wait to show you. Hello, Internet. This is Coach Ken, Superbike Coach. And we're going into part two of the Panigale V4R con conversion. Um, so, as uh, I already show the first part the bike is now uh, free of its fairings and uh, and I'm ready to actually take it take the tank off and making the first mods and that is the gas tank cap so I removed the more or less heavy Rizoma um, tank cap here and replace it with a way lighter and more simplified tank cap. This is somewhat about half the weight. And I'm also, uh, so he, here's the trick. Uh, I'm also replacing those bolts all in aluminum bolts. Uh, it's not significant weight drop, but uh, it's there, you know, it's all summing up. So everything I'm touching uh, gets a deeper look and uh, to see what needs to be done, what can be done to drop weight and make the performance of the bike even better. All right, it's done. I actually think it also looks better, but hey, that's preference, right? Uh, and it actually sits more flush with the tank. And the biggest thing is that, uh, yeah, about half the weight of, uh, half the weight of the Rizuma tank cap. So, uh, later on, I will re have to replace these bolts here with aluminum ones, but and maybe even red, but I'm not sure. Actually, it looks good. All right, next uh, step will be taking the tank off. Um, uh, that is, I never done that on this bike, so uh, let's see where it goes. I think there's some cable to remove right there that's the ground cable underneath there is uh, the plug for the 
fuel pump and I will have to remove the move these uh, breather hoses and that shouldn't be a big deal and then I will have to take out the gas what's in there because that tank will also get some mods in regard uh, heat shields so uh, and let's see what's underneath what we can do there as well all right so this is the V4R gas tank uh, as you see the gas cap has been replaced already that is very cool uh, now I cleaned it up the gas in there is out uh, that was the rest of my Laguna Seca gig uh, two weeks ago or one week ago and uh, so uh, yes there would be uh, a couple of bolts which can be replaced to aluminum but I won't touch them because these guys here are the uh, uh, the brackets which uh, holds the tank to the frame and I don't want to loosen up these bolts A and B take them out of position so that would be a pain in the butt to get it back together same here down here is the fuel pump I won't touch these bolts because they're very likely glued in anyway and uh, I believe it should keep its strength so let's not touch these what needs to be done is a complete uh, isolation inside the tank this is aluminum all aluminum it's super light that's for sure but it's also catching up the heat very well especially in this area here this this area here is uh, literally over the air box so that needs to be isolated the tank just half an hour into riding is hot so that will heat up your gas your fuel and so it costs performance that is not takeable that needs to be changed and uh, yeah I'm not sure how that works and gonna look like after all so what I did now was uh, removing uh, this plastic cover here which gonna be replaced in uh, carbon uh, there's not much of a weight saving there but I just uh, hate looking at plastics and now I removed this uh, heat shield here. This is, uh, I believe, not that good because A, it uh, covers this beautiful magnesium uh, valve cover here and it opens up the way for air. So I believe that is a big plus here uh, and especially the other side. That is a huge cover here. All this conserves heat in this area, right here, where you're literally sitting on. And here's also the tank. So this is all heating up as hell. Now the air, air can come in and cools this area off. This will be a big help. Yeah. So I believe this here is mainly so that you uh, don't burn your jeans on your way to Starbucks. <laughs> Keeps this nice and shiny, but uh, it is, uh, yeah, it, it maybe also keeps the lawsuits short. Uh, you know, the people getting hurt, getting, getting burned there. Uh, this is not me. This has to go. It's ugly as shit. And uh, it's, it's got to go out. The problem right now I'm facing are these bolts. Because they they like to strip, and that all that already happened. So I will um, just break this cover, make it crack, and come out. And maybe I'll be able to grab these bolts with pliers. We'll see. There it is. So those are the covers we don't need anymore, and that's quite some weight. I would say uh, maybe one, maybe one and a half pounds. I should have a weight scale here, but. It's quite some weight, and that's how beautiful it can look like. Doesn't it look awesome? Okay.